Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing beautifully. Uh, this is Maxine Taylor with my full moon ceremony. And those of you who live in Atlanta, uh, check in with Phoenix in the Dragon Bookstore because I'll be doing my full moon ceremony there in person. Those of you who do not live in Atlanta, you got me all to yourself. Before I begin another powerful um, full moon ceremony, I want to invite all of you who are interested in studying astrology. And I know that some of you want to become astrologers, professional astrologers. I'm starting an entirely new series of classes that will last approximately nine months in which I share everything I possibly can uh, about reading charts and helping clients. Um, there's so much I could share with you. Um, I am going to have that on Zoom. And when you sign up, you will, of course, be invited to attend uh, from wherever you are, um, I'm going to video all of the classes and I'm going to send them to you so that you'll have a permanent library. Some people can't come in person, so they just buy the, the videos. Whatever floats your boat works for me. So if you're interested, go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. You'll find all the information you need there. Give me a call because I want to talk to you. I want to interview you and see where you fall along the lineup. A lot of people have been studying astrology for years and they don't need the beginning two classes because that's the beginning. Um, I will speak with you. I will answer all of your questions. And in addition, those of you who really want to study privately with me, because you do better in a one-on-one -on -one situation, super. I am mentoring people once again. Um, we will meet once a week and we will cover everything. You will have me to yourself, as it were. And I think you'll enjoy it very much. Some people like a classroom situation. Others want one-on-one. -on -one. I'm offering both. MaxineTaylor.com. Just go to my website. It's there. And call me. Uh, I will get back in touch with you and answer all of your questions. All righty. So... Let's see what we got going on here. Um, one more point. When I teach you astrology, I want you to be a great astrologer. I want you to be a star. I want you to fall in love with you and allow your inner astrologer to express itself. I will support you from soup to nuts, from the beginning till you hang out your shingle, or when people start banging your door down saying, um, I understand you're an astrologer. Will you read my chart? It happens. All it takes is one person who finds out that you're studying astrology. So... All righty, enough with that. Now, this particular full moon is a lunar eclipse. That makes it very, very powerful. Um, on the full moon, everything comes to a head. On an eclipse, if that eclipse sits on your sun, moon, or ascendant, it is a new life eclipse for you. And the effects of a new life eclipse stay with us for a couple of years. That's why I call it a new life eclipse. 
It's fabulous. So with that in mind, the full moon is in... <clears throat> 25 degrees, 41 minutes of Pisces. Find that in your birth chart. I'm going to give you your solar reading on that beautiful eclipse. I'm going to start with Pisces because it's in Pisces. It's in the first house of the Piscean. And this is your opportunity, Pisces, to do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want. You come into your own and bravo to you. Aries, you want to pull back and retreat, honey. Um, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we're out front a little bit too long and we're burnt out. And so if you need solitude, privacy, more sleep, get, get it, relax, and remember, there is going to be a new moon coming up. Remember, on the full moon, things go pop. And this is an eclipse that goes pop. It is going to be very important for each and every one of us to know where it falls. Okay, Taurus, it's time to let out the... Um, humanitarian in you. Uh, your friends become very important to you and being a friend, you have a more universal attitude. And I think that's gorgeous. Gemini, put your energy into your career, move upward, no lateral moves. Uh -uh. Nope. Shoot straight up into the air. Awesome. It's your turn. It's your turn. Cancerians, you're ready to see a bigger pic picture because you're able to do that with this eclipse. Um, you know, you are the first water sign in the zodiac and you are a very psychic, sensitive person. Um, and you may find that your psychic ability is enhanced by this particular eclipse. I love it. Great, grand, glorious Leo. Oh, yeah. You know, the party does not begin until Leo arrives. We know that. Um, this is you helping other people get clarity on their money, perhaps being involved in a joint financial venture. But more important than any of those, this particular eclipse allows you to transform transform what yourself you're looking at cause rather than effect this can be a tremendously wonderful transformation for you in your life right now virgo relationships all of your relationships are so important to you right now i'm so glad that this is happening to you because you will be able to interact with other people. The one-on-one -on -one relationship is where your energy flows now. And that one-on-one -on -one person can be a business relationship or a personal one. They're calling the, the shots, go with the flow. Libra, it's time to take care of your health. Go to the gym, um, Take charge of your of the vehicle in which the God within you lives. Um, are you looking for a job? Mercury is no longer retrograde, so go for it. Scorpio, you're ready to party. You're ready to have fun. So do it. If you have children, you'll want to spend time with them. And you will want to... Uh, getting back to fun and, and lots of enjoyment. Decide what would make you happy. Uh, watching football, playing tennis, whatever it is. It's your turn to have a good time. Sagittarius, this is really interesting because Sag, you love long distance, lit, bleh, excuse me, 
my lips are not working as a team again. You love home and family right now, but you're always, you've always got your wings spread, ready to soar. Right now, stay home, visit relatives, and take care of your own emotional needs. Oh, and if you want to fix up the house uh, or buy one or sell one, yes, go for it. Okay. Capricorn, you are um, a, lo a lot more talkative right now. Um, you're thinking, you're communicating, you're not dealing with concepts, you're sharing ideas. Are you writing a book? Um, this would be a perfect time to start one or to complete one. Okay. Aquarius, let's talk money because this eclipse falls in your solar second house of money. And you might say, well, does that mean I'm going to get it or spend it? Yes, you can do both. However, when you have an eclipse, uh, a full moon eclipse uh, in your second solar house of money, you create more income. You create more gifts. Lucky you. So don't you just love balloonations? I do. Okay, now, if we were outdoors, I would suggest that you take the lists that you brought with you uh, on which you've written what you want to create and burn them. Uh, when we do this in person, we I have a huge fl a flower pot and we burn our lists in that flower pot. Um, it's always wonderful. And the reason we burn our lists is so that we get it out of our hot little hand and turn it over the universe to give us what we want. And don't be digging up, digging up your seeds. Turn it over the to the cosmic force, the loving cosmic force that gives us whatever we want when we come from a state of love. It's quite beautiful. Um, so I am going to simultaneously speak and burn my lists. Um, so bear with me. When I do this at Phoenix and the Dragon, I have somebody else light the fire because it just doesn't work for me. Ah, it worked. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to burn it. Oh, shoot. It went out. Try it again, Max. Okay. Get it done. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to let that burn down. It's really going strong. This is really cool. Okay. Look at that. We're, we're turning this over to God. Because God will give it to us. There we go. This was a beautiful campfire. I have never seen this paper react so quickly. So I am thrilled, 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 thrilled. Okay. And I'll put it down here out of harm's way and allow it to just burn down. Um, if you do it at home, uh, you may find that afterwards you smell the, the smoke in the air. Um, I've always loved that because it reinforces the understanding that when you let go of it, when you release it to God, you free it. 
you free God to return it to you bigger and better than you ever visualized it. Okay, so that's done there. Um, and some of you are very familiar with what I do on these full moon ceremony, during these full moon ceremonies, because they're just so powerful. Now, what we're going to do is right hand, left hand. And I am going to carry you through acceptances after we do the, the right hand, left hand. First of all, the way you create what you're looking for is you come from a state of love. As long as you are coming from a state of love, you are one with the universe. And when you come from love, spirit delivers. So put your hand over your heart and just allow the connection from your heart to your body. Allow it to flow. And when you are ready, you are going to extend your right hand. And in your right hand, you are going to put your heart's desire. Very often people weep because of their heart's desire. And you put it in the right in your right hand. Extend your left hand and in it put who or what is holding you back from getting what you want, from believing that you can have what you want. Of course, that's the first step naturally. And so I'm going to give you a little help here, okay? Um, <clears throat> I, I can't read my own handwriting. Many of you know that. So, ah, in your left hand, place this. Who or what is keeping you so it seems, is holding you back from creating what you want. Think about that. Put it here. Here's another question. Are you afraid of success or failure? You know, in my recent book, Secrets from the Womb, <clears throat> We make a pact with our mother, and it is that pact that holds us back because a pact is strong. Okay. Anything or anyone who is holding you back. And all you're going to do is reach back and toss that out into the universe. Get rid of it completely. Get rid of that person. Get rid of that thing. Get rid of the fear of either success or failure. I never had um, fear of failure, but I sure had fear of success because it, it flew in the face of my pact with my mother all tied in together. This is the shortcut. Let it rip. And now I'm going to give you your acceptances because once you actually finish burning your lists, and I hope you cut this video off and burned your lists, and once you have your right in your right hand what you want 
and you've let go of what your left hand is containing because that's what holds you back. Then you can put your hand, your right hand back on your heart. And I'll tell you the words to use. When we accept a truth, we allow spirit, the universe, God, call it whatever you like, to pour down from the top of our head into every cell of our body and out the soles of our feet, back out there, because that's the area that beckons us. And when we finish our acceptances, we will do the creation part. So with your right hand over your heart and using the name you were given at birth, simply say, I, John, Robert, Paul, Smith, take back my heart. So you will use your name, of course. So right now, I and the name you were given the minute you were born, I take back my heart and allow all of God's love to pour down from the top of your head into every cell in your body and out the soles of your feet. <clears throat> I take back my soul. Your soul is your essence. If somebody controls you, they help, they own your essence. I take back my mind so I can think. If you've been a space cadet <clears throat> and you couldn't think, that's because somebody doesn't want you to. So I take back my mind. I take back my body. How many illnesses does it take and before we recognize that we invite illness without realizing it? And it, it can be for any one of a number of different reasons. So I take back my body. I take back my honor. I take back my identity. Our identity is God. We are a spirit in an earthbound body. You want to take back your identity. I take back my self-respect. I take back my God-given strengths, talents, gifts, and psychic ability. And finally, I take back my life. I hope that helps you feel powerful. Powerful. And now I am going to pull a bunch of my star cards. I've got plenty here. Uh, so that it they will help you and inspire you to create what you want for you. It's your turn. Okay, galloping optimism, I need these. <clears throat> when I read them, I'll use the pronoun you. You repeat it and change you to I. So, you are brilliant. Change it. 
I am brilliant. And let that pour down from the top of your head into every cell of your body. You are radiantly healthy. I am radiantly healthy. Claim your true place. I claim my true place. Live your calling. I live my calling. You are popular. I am popular. Isn't this great? Are you tingling? You are free. I am free. Wow, that was powerful. I can I can feel it. This is wild. Mm. You have strength. I have strength. People listen when you speak. People listen when I speak. You have wisdom. I have wisdom. You are mega talented. I am mega talented. You tell the truth. I tell the truth. Be the star. I am the star. You are magical. I am ma magical, aren't you? You inspire others. I inspire others. Don't you? You are charismatic. I am charismatic. People like you. People like me. And the final star card, people want to be with you. People want to be with me. So we have an election coming up. Uh, we have uh, major events lined up uh, with a new administration or an old administration. Um, I hope that you are able to vote because some people are not. We need all the help we can get. And it starts with love. If you love you, your radiance is going to shine a light before you. People are going to look at you and, and think to themselves, what, what has he got that I don't? What does she have that I don't? When you come from love, self-love, pure love, you're happy. And so when you, no matter where you go, I was going to say when you go to vote, uh, which I hope you will. Um, you're with people who are looking for hope. And your light, your smile, your love lifts that entire room. If it's in a library, the whole library. If it's in a school, the whole school. And so, if you have been thinking of doing something different, uh, if you have wanted to know 
what your gifts and talents are. Um, get a, an astrology reading from either me or the astrologer of your choice and move forward because the time is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. In other words, it's up to you and me. If not you, who? If not now, when? It is time to step up and take a stand for your truth. And so, my dear friends, thank you for being with me, even if it's on Zoom. <clears throat> it's better than nothing. And my wish, my blessing for you is may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. See you next month.